What's going on everybody? It's your boy, OG Dan. And in today's video, I let my Instagram followers choose what design to paint on my skateboard. So I've said it before and I'm gonna say it again. If you're not following me on Instagram by now, what are you doing, man? You're missing out on being in the videos, being able to participate on what we're doing. And go follow me on Instagram. Link is right there, pop tag. Follow that right there. So do that quick and then come back to the video. Waiting, it's okay, grab your phone. Here, grab your phone, open her up, Instagram profile. Look, new follower, join in the gang. Join the gang like this person right here. Okay, all right, good. Follow me? Cool. Now to the video. So I drew two pictures, put them up on a poll to see which one was going to win. And as you'll see soon, we got the results, painted the board, and that's pretty much the video. So if you don't like painting and drawing on skateboards and art, go check out one of my other videos. But if you do like that, keep watching. It's going to be fun. Let's go show you what I did for drawing one and drawing two. All right, guys. So... Here's the first video that I did. So this is the first drawing. So with this drawing, I came into the drawing planning on drawing a rose. So as you see me right here, I am doing an outline of a rose that came to mind. But you will soon see that as I began drawing it, my mind just started wandering, going in different directions. And eventually it became more than just a rose. So it, so basically I drew some leaves and then I, as I was filling them in, I was like, hey, these could be kind of cool eyes. So the picture is kind of a mix between between a rose, some sort of creature with eyes, and then a geometrical kind of background and stuff because that's kind of the thing I was going for. I wanted a cool, unique design with geometrical patterns because that's the kind of stuff that I like drawing and I thought it would look good on the skateboard. So as you see me doing, uh, I'm adjusting everything a little bit because I am drawing this on my iPad Pro with the Apple Pencil on the app called Procreate. And it's a really good app. It's actually how I make most of my thumbnails. Um, and here you see me doing a mouth and I didn't get it exactly right I didn't really like it so I erased it um put some other stuff but yeah so I use procreate to make all my thumbnails and do my art and it's pretty cool and all um and this is what the final product looks like I think it's a pretty cool design it's got a lot of geometry to it whatnot so that's what I finished with I'm in my first 30 minutes of sketching now we will move on to the second drawing Okay, so this is the second drawing. With this drawing, I wanted to do some sort of eyeball because I wanted an eye to be the focus of one of the designs. And it took me forever to get this eye shape down, but I finally got it down. I tried not to go too overboard with the white, so it looked a little overboard at first, so I filled in a couple blocks just to make it a little, just to make some more contrast in the values of the colors and whatnot. Um, so yeah, here you see me filling out the eye. I just kind of got a little creative. I started doing some different shapes and patterns until I got something I like, and then again, I added in some of those geometric effects to the picture because that's just something that I think would look really cool on the board. So I wanted to include it. So yeah, and then I also added a couple details with some dripping effect because I thought that would look pretty cool too. This one took me about 27, 30 minutes to finish. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out and this is the final result. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I don't know though, we'll have to see what Instagram followers decide. So here's what both of them look like um, side by side. I don't know, you guys decide. So I'm gonna go put it on my Instagram for 12 hours and we will come back with the results of that to figure out what we need to draw. A few inches later. So here it is guys, 
finally, after getting the poll results, I decided to start painting the board. Um, so I'm using white acrylic paint after spray painting the board black. And let me just tell you, painting is a lot harder than I initially thought it was going to be because I've never really painted like super well before. The last time I painted was probably when I was really young and it was, you know, garbage as every kid's is. So I don't have a lot of experience. Mostly I do drawings digitally or uh, with markers and black ink pens, I guess. So this is way out of my comfort zone. So it was, it was a weird experience. Uh, to say the least. Painting's a lot different. I had to go back and recode a couple areas. Uh, the paint's a little bumpy, you know, so I'm not really trained for this, but I did have a lot of fun, and I think it turned out really great. Or I'm gonna stop talking and let you guys watch the rest of this time lapse. So yeah, I won't interrupt anymore. Have fun. <laughs> And there you have it guys, that's the final product. What I've learned from this is that painting's a lot harder than I initially thought. At least for me, I think drawing is way easier, but I had a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys think it looks cool too. Reminder, follow my Instagram at Ogden underscore sickle if you want to participate in more polls or other videos in the future. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks to all the new subscribers. I did notice you and it makes me so happy that I see that I'm seeing new subs. So keep subscribing comment more video suggestions, hit the like button, you know the drill. That's all I got for you today, and I'll see you guys on Saturday with something hopefully good. Peace out.